morning guys I'm at uh, Dollar Tree I've got to go in and get some I've got to go get a thank you card from my next door neighbor I'll explain that in a second and pick up a few things and then I got to go to Walmart so when I get done with Walmart we'll do a car haul and the reason I want to do a car haul is because my husband is home sick Monday night evening um, he got home early by like two hours and he was holding his chest and I was like oh god so we went to the emergency room they were so good I know every hospital has um, protocol in place for when somebody walks through the door with chest pain but I mean as soon as I pointed to him and I said chest pain they surrounded him they had him thrown in a um, in a wheelchair and we were in a treatment room and I was, you know, placed up against the wall. It wasn't a very big room and he was completely surrounded by doctors and nurses um, assessing the situation, quickly assessed. It was not his heart. Um, in the end, after we had been there for about five hours and they did every test known to mankind, they said that he had um, pneumonia. So had absolutely no signs or symptoms that he was even sick. Not at all. He wasn't coughing, he didn't have a fever, he wasn't sneezing, he didn't feel bad. I mean, everything was just fine until noon that day and it just hit him out of a clear blue sky. And sometimes it does. Sometimes that's how sicknesses are. Um, especially something like flu or something. Pneumonia usually creeps up on you a little bit you know, but it didn't with him unless he was just ignoring things. Do you like my hat? My daughter, um, she knitted this for me. And it got cold here, which is probably why everybody's got pneumonia because it goes down to freezing at night. So in the morning, it's really cold. And then um, Saturday, and it's windy. And it only gets to be like 58 or 60 during the afternoon. And, but Saturday's going to be 73 and sunny and warm. So then everybody will be taking off their hat, hats and jackets again. And it'll sneak up back on us again. That's going to be windy and cold. And just what happened to him, you know, he was out Saturday. He wasn't really dressed for the weather. But he didn't think it was that cold out. And then one thing led to another. So he's home. He's been home um, yesterday and today. If I know him, he'll probably try to go back to work tomorrow. Um, been on all of his medicines and um, still doesn't look great through the eyes, in my opinion. But we just got to let the medicine do its thing. So let me go in here and I'm going to get some stuff and then I'm going to run to Walmart and I'll be back. Hi guys. I had said that I was going to do a, um, get some light in here, a car haul when I got done shopping and that didn't happen because I had too much junk and I didn't want to pull it all out in the car. So I came home and I'm in another part of the house cause he's in there and I don't want him to laugh at me. So what I got at Dollar Tree, I got $41 worth of stuff, but it was mostly for my daughter's birthday, which is the first part of November. And the kids are going to be coming over, like, the next week. And so, I got her just a little, um, made a gift bag for her from the Dollar Tree that I think she'll appreciate. So, of course, I got her a birthday card. And then I got two packages. This one's split of this shredded paper to put in the bag. And I also got two things of tissue paper, the polka dots. I got her a jumbo word find, and she's just sitting around the house. I got her one of these, it's a tech case. They're nice. I don't know if you've ever seen them over there, but um, they're nice. They've got a little place here that's netting. 
uh, she can use it for headphones or cords or whatever she wants, but I have one that I carry in my purse and I put Tylenol and Advil in it. And then I got her a sleeping mask. This says Scorpio on it because that's her sign. And I got her some goodies. Godiva chocolates. Reese's Pieces. I don't like these, but she does. I got her these stickers, and I thought she could put one on her um, bag that she carries back and forth, or more than one, the bag that she carries back and forth to work. Maybe she could put um, one or two on her fridge or something. And um, there's hope. You're stronger than you think. Don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow may bring. I thought it was appropriate for her because she's been going through some really, really hard health issues. So, got to keep her positive. I got her these hot and cold iPads that look like watermelons. I thought those were adorable. I should have got me some. And I got her a kitchen towel just to hang on the stove. How do I take my coffee? Seriously, very seriously. I also got this that she can put on her back of her phone and use the ring part with her finger. And then this will also wrap around her wrist so she won't drop her phone. I thought that was a, I've never seen those before. I thought that was a good idea. Picked up a bath bomb. I picked up some body cream that's coconut lime and it's whipped and it smells delicious. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, yeah, you can smell it through there. <laughs> they had one that was open over there. And then I got the gift bag. I know y'all know what a gift bag is, but this side is just got the word yay on it. And it's just, um, no, this is the side that's got, oh, here's the sparkle stuff. Sparkle stuff is on these little red dashes. So that side is like this, and then this side doesn't have any sparkles. So you can see the difference. But at least, you know, one size, one side does. I also got a thank you card for my neighbor. I'm going to take over there later because he helped us out when we were in the hospital Monday night because of Lucy. And it was right when she was needing to go out and she, then she was needing to be fed and then she was needing to go out again. So he was running back and forth and I really, really appreciate that. I don't know what I would have done come on to a mess, I guess. I picked up a headband and it's got pearls and I'm sure they're real because my hair is getting long enough. See, it's behind my ears now and I can put the headband on and I don't know, keep my hair back. And it's real comfortable. It doesn't hurt my head at all. So I got that. I got myself a crossword puzzle book. I got a wet and wild eyeshadow palette because I was looking for pink. I got a bunch of these bags. They say kitchen bags on them, but they're not that big and they smell like vanilla and I'm gonna put them in the bathroom trash cans so I don't have to keep washing out the trash cans all the time. And then I picked up at Walmart my 90 calorie protein bars to make a good snack to keep me full. And then I got two of these wine glasses because in the evening or even in the afternoon, I've got that bubbly water, the bubbly B-U-B-L-Y. And um, now when I drink tea, I put it in a great big tumbler. But when I drink the water, I just put ice and then put it in a um, 
wine glass, why not? You know, fancy. I feel like I'm drinking wine and I'm not. Um. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna show you that other stuff because all it is is sparkly Christmas trees. So yet some more trees for my decor later on. And that is what I got. So I hope you, well, I don't hope you, I am glad you were here. And I hope you will be around for the next one. And if you just like hauls and talks and makeup and stuff like that, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button, it's free. We would love to have you. I have a really nice community that I'm building up here. Everyone is very, very kind. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.